Hello and welcome back to this new YouTube video. Today we will discuss how the Notebook LLM works. Because now many popular tools like ChatGPT are widely available in the market, what they do is gather data quickly and efficiently to provide accurate, comprehensive, relevant information about it. But on a larger scale, when conducting research or other tasks, more robust models become essential. So in those cases, highly reliable, cutting edge, large language models are needed, which we call LLMs. But here, Google is now providing LLM solutions for developers and researchers. That is named the Notebook LLM. So here, there is the Google Notebook. It uses the power of AI for rapid, effective summarization and note-taking. Notebook LLM is a powerful virtual research assistant anchored in accurate information you can trust. Now that the login is complete, I will explain in detail step-by-step step how this feature functions. Here the prompt reads, understand anything. Research and thinking partner, grounded in information you can trust reliably. Built and guided by advanced Gemini models. On what basis is it provided by Google Gemini and considered reliable? The artificial intelligence system is available here. The Gen AI system is employed here. The specific system currently in use, utilizing all routing, etc. It has been fully created. In this, it is possible to simply upload files such as PDFs, websites, YouTube videos, and any other content. Within this, the interface provides all the various topics directly related to uploaded content. After that, the platform generates instant insights, complete with comprehensive source citations in place. Notebook LLM guides your workflow and becomes a personalized expert assistant. In how the information that matters most to you, see all sources, not just the answer. System provides recommendations for reliable sources. An audio overview is available, and privacy is fully respected. Because of this, all content is processed by Notebook LLM. Content is provided in provisional form for review only. It will not be utilized in any actual data deposition. Here, there are three elements. Suppose we are exploring the reviews, which are extremely high, and I am about to make a purchase because I can't decide and may have missed available plans. Plans can be reviewed in the general knowledge section and various pricing tiers are listed clearly below. Suppose we have a notebook LLM for each individual. It's completely free, but with the most recent MMI models, you can upload PDFs, websites, Google documents, slides, YouTube URLs, and anything else. With one click, you can generate FAQ timelines and briefing documents, which is a crucial feature to focus on. There is an option to generate an audio overview and listen on the go, and you can also ask for deeper insights and obtain answers with citations. The main point I will discuss is that we will try it directly and let you know whether it's worth it or not. Here we have a main clause, followed by the option to create a first notebook. We could also try an example notebook, but that's not particularly beneficial because we will do one thing, select a specific topic and examine all the related branches. Next, we will explore branches available for that topic, whether accessing it on YouTube or via the search feature, all relevant content can be retrieved. I'll copy this content and integrate it here. On the interface, a Create New Notebook button appears alongside an untitled notebook ready for immediate editing. The first requirement for training or interacting with the model is to include sources. Accordingly, I will gather these citations as we move forward. The first research source is Google Scholar, so I'll open that platform and enter the trial topic, Food Science and AI. That search delivers an array of materials and PDFs, which can be downloaded directly and incorporated into the dataset. These documents will be included in the search and analysis process as we proceed. Now that a thorough search has been completed and data has been collected from various sources, multiple resources related to the selected topic are available. The next step is to go directly to the upload option, where all topic-related data can be added. Naturally, uploading this data might take some time. By navigating to the Add Resource section, several input methods appear. For example, text can be pasted directly into the interface, and the process works smoothly. Suppose a website is visited. If it's an HTML page with an article, the full content can be selected and copied. After copying the content, it can be pasted into the input field. There is no strict limit, as demonstrated by pasting half the content initially. If the remaining page is also copied, it will be added to the content list and can be used effectively. And we can utilize all of that context because in practice, the main usability of this notebook LLM lies not in any limitations on what can be inserted, but in achieving maximum efficiency with the content. At this point, it becomes clear what the system has done. It has presented all the gathered sources in a summarized format. 
The next section to focus on involves the core features, so that panel will be closed now, as the studio isn't the focus here. The primary area of concern is this, the ability to create a complete notebook related to the topic under discussion. Within this setup, any prompt can be entered, for example, define AI in food, and the model will include it accordingly. A very basic question was used in this instance, and based on the provided sources, if a more complex query is entered, the system delivers a direct response. Some of these questions are auto-generated, and beyond those, additional queries are also available for review. It took a little time, but once everything was fully generated, it provided a highly detailed set of options. Scrolling to the bottom reveals the responses. What's impressive about the notebook is that it allows for contextual case-based interaction. When a prompt is provided, clicking any option will direct us to the original sources. For example, selecting a specific option shows that the first source comes from the context that was added earlier, while the second source is specifically related to how AI has revolutionized agri-food efficiency. Upon reviewing the sources, it's clear that this reference is present and can be directly used in the section discussing AI advancements. This illustrates how the system functions. Afterward, there is an option to save content to a note, meaning notes can be stored for later. If studying a broader topic, this content can be added, copied, and even marked as helpful by liking the response. If needed, the chat can also be refreshed and chat history will remain available. The chat history will be cleared and it returns to the basic question section. This is the main chat interface. The next element is the studio, which will now be briefly explained. The audio overview feature generates summaries in multiple languages. There are two hosts included for deep dive conversations. These can be customized to adjust the length of the audio review, either extending or shortening it. The focus here is on contextual understanding, covering both qualitative and quantitative details. The generation process can begin directly, and although it may take a short while, the conversation will be created, and all notes will be accessible, and existing notes can be included. The briefing document feature functions by taking the previously created notes and generating a more detailed version based on all the provided sources. At this point, any additional topic can be added, and further inputs can also be incorporated. Wait until the generations are complete, as this will include a basic summary of all the created content. Timeline creation is also underway. A summary is now available, containing all the sources used. These sources are listed, followed by an effective summary that explains how it starts, what the key applications are, and the overall structure. This is how the system functions. For someone involved in research and regularly reviewing various articles, gathering and structuring summaries manually can be challenging. This tool simplifies that process by generating a comprehensive summary with a single click. The next feature is the Discover option. Discover works like this. If any input is submitted, it prompts the creation of a new topic. For example, entering AI in food manufacturing sets the topic. The focus here can be narrowed down by selecting only sources with verified data. In regions like India or on platforms like Google, high resource content can be accessed directly. Once a category is selected, sources from different websites become accessible. These include platforms like Frontiers, Throughput AI, TasteWise, and also consist of question forms. All of these sources are gathered by allowing the system to search autonomously. They will be imported as well. If a large data set or increased volume is needed, it can be accommodated easily. For instance, when choosing a web topic such as AI and food safety, it can be submitted directly. After submission, all sources relevant to that topic are retrieved automatically. These sources can then be imported. To demonstrate, up to 50 sources can be included. If a topic doesn't seem appropriate or relevant, and it's clear that agreement on the topic isn't there, it can be removed. For example, if a topic under discussion is no longer suitable, it can be unchecked, and it will be excluded from the source list. Removing it from the interface ensures it no longer appears among the selected sources. So when a topic is removed, its corresponding source is also deleted from the library. The next feature is the voice conversation, which may take some time to process. However, a timeline has now been created based on the saved content. This timeline outlines how developments have progressed from as early as 2008 up to 2023 and what level of efficiency has been achieved in recent years. It even forecasts potential advancements expected in the coming years, supporting both research and scalability efforts. Additionally, asking any random question related to the topic yields further detailed information. It's important to note that there is a disclaimer indicating that the Notebook LLM may occasionally provide incorrect responses, so verification is recommended. That said, the system is trained to a level where checking and validating the content can be done confidently without liability concerns. With that, the topic has been fully explored and all relevant details are now accessible. This content can be saved directly to a note, allowing the research process to continue smoothly. 
A wide range of options is available, and the key one being discussed now involves a multi-generational tool that supports education, research, and analysis. One valuable feature is the ability to generate a mind map, which serves as one of the most efficient ways to organize information. It gathers all sources and compiles them into a single, comprehensive mind map, summarizing the entire research and learning process completed so far. The mind map is generated with a single click, clearly presenting well-structured content. It can be adjusted for other subjects as needed. Each main topic includes its own subsection, where the relevant elements are placed. These subsections highlight the core components, with additional subfields and real-world applications. In the case of agriculture, the topics span across crop computing, processed feed management, and crop selection. These areas are highly diverse and demonstrate the breadth of coverage within the tool. Including too many resources beyond a certain point may reduce efficiency. The discussion so far was focused specifically on applications within agriculture, and even within that domain, there are numerous fields. For example, if all unrelated content from other fields is closed, it becomes easier to concentrate on a single research parameter, such as evaluating the amount of relevant content available. When addressing limitations, each area presents its own set of challenges. These can include gaps in human expertise, overuse or misuse of algorithms, and a lack of contextual understanding. All of this is accessible, at no cost, and with just one click. It can also be downloaded, either as a static document or in an interactive format, which enables a clearer understanding of how different elements function. This approach makes it easier to revisit and study the content thoroughly. Moreover, the overall quality remains high, so accessing and reviewing the information in this format poses no issue. Now that a mind map has been created, the next step is to explore the sharing option. Up to this point, everything has been saved in a private library. If sharing is required, the content can be made public by changing its settings. Once set to public, a shareable link is generated, which can be copied and sent to relevant individuals. This is especially helpful for those engaged in related research. Additional settings are also available, including display preferences such as light or dark mode, which affect how content is viewed. Output language is another important setting, particularly useful when managing multilingual projects, allowing for seamless switching between languages. The There's also a Discord version of this notebook, and Notebook LLM help provides supporting documentation. The Pro version includes enhanced capabilities such as increased access to audio reviews, queries, notebooks, research materials, and language models, offering up to five times more functionality compared to the standard version. The style and tone of the notebook can also be customized, allowing collaboration and sharing with others. Features like Gemini, Flow, Whisk, and two terabytes of total storage are included, all part of Google AI Pro, which offers higher limits than the standard Google LLM. If interested, this plan is available for purchase, although it's priced slightly higher. However, considering the extensive features offered for free, it stands out as one of the most beneficial tools for sourcing and research. To proceed, users simply need to gather or manually add relevant sources. Alternatively, they can use the Discover Sources feature to search any topic, such as AI and food security business field, and immediately access related materials. Based on those collected resources, any research can be carried out. With numerous sources already integrated into the platform, users can directly infuse them into their research. The current usage indicator shows that 36 out of 50 sources have been used, clearly outlining the remaining capacity. Due to the bulkiness of the content, there is still some material left to include in the video. In this section, all the reviews are available. Last but not least, we have the audio overview. What is the audio overview? Let me explain. It is the complete audio option where all the content created so far is compiled into an overview. Imagine being able to truly visualize everything inside your phone. Currently, there are around 21 minutes of content just related to the functionality. If we download it, we will receive a 60 megabyte audio file that can be listened to directly or used as an interactive guide. This is a one-sided version where we simply listen without needing to respond. But there is also an interactive mode. In interactive mode, there are two hosts. One speaks about the content and users can join in. After joining, for instance, during a conversation, users can actively participate. I can directly join and start talking about the content using the microphone. By doing this, we engage with the audio overview and can interact with the document simply by speaking to it. The document responds with answers, enabling a fully interactive learning experience on a larger scale. This helps in collecting a significant amount of resourceful information. Additional features include the ability to create a study guide or a set of frequently asked questions, all initiated instantly. These tools are automatically generated using the provided sources and notes are also created. 
Viewing the content reveals a clear summary of how everything works. Some of it appears in a Q&A format, offering structured information. If we try reading it, we gain access to comprehensive options that support complete learning. Because we can also convert it into a source, this becomes a very powerful topic. Here we have a few options. First is the FAQ section. After the FAQ, we included a comprehensive workflow explaining how everything functions and how the content operates. I have fully explained the usability of this tool, how it works, how you can proceed, and how you can incorporate any contextual elements. You can even engage in conversation with your document using the interactive mode, which allows direct communication with documents. This concludes the explanation. If you found this video helpful, like the video and subscribe to the channel for more. Click the notification button and make sure to use this tool in your studies as it will certainly provide value.